Hello, my name is Professor Carol Sikora and let me tell you about World Cancer Day on Thursday the 4th of February this year, set up 21 years ago by the International Union Against Cancer, an international grouping of many countries that discusses cancer and nothing else. You know, there are 17 million people in the world that will get cancer this year. And many are in rich countries, but many are in very poor countries where there's almost no cancer treatment facilities. The most important thing about World Cancer Day is increasing awareness. And the thing we need to talk about now in the post-COVID world is symptoms that are likely to be due to cancer. They're so vague. They imitate all sorts of illnesses. And so poor old GP, he or she gets hints from examining patients, talking to them about their symptoms. But the only real way of sorting things out is to investigate with scans, biopsies, and so on. So any persistent symptom that you get, whether it be a headache, a sore throat, a loss of weight, chest pain, coughing up blood, passing blood, abdominal pains, all these things that persist and last more than two weeks, they need checking out. And in most cases, they'll be fine. There won't be any cancer found. But if there is, it's better to know early. Early treatment of cancer before it spreads from the primary organ is very good. The cure rates for most cancers are over 90% if they're what we call stage one, confined to the organ they arise from. So catching cancer early is something all health systems are striving to do. If you do have symptoms and they persist, get checked out. Go to your GP and you'll be able to get the benefit of some of the finest diagnostic equipment in the country here in Liverpool. So World Cancer Day, think of coming forward if you have symptoms that suggest you may have cancer. Thank you.